All right, welcome and thank you for staying with us. Let me usher in Philip Simiu with our education segment. Mukingi Secondary School, headed by Mr. Wamalwa, has become an academic threat to surrounding secondary schools in Sabata Sub County, Vihiga County. My name is uh, Wamalwa, Wamalwa Magda. Currently, I'm the principal of Mukingi Secondary School. Uh, Mukingi Secondary School is located in uh, uh, Sabatia Sub County, in uh, the wider Vihiga County. Uh, not very far from Bale Market. I came to this school uh, in the year 2021 February on transfer from a school in Kakambeka County. Uh, since I came to this school, we've had uh, quite a number of uh, activities and programs for the school, all in an effort to ensure that the school actually progresses. In terms of academic, when I came, the school had a mean of 3.04. Uh, soon after coming, I landed in this school and shortly thereafter, after one month, we sat for KCSE exams and uh, the performance wasn't so good. There was uh, some slight achievement in terms of mean score from 3.04 to 3.46. That in our KCSE exams, uh, in, uh, in the month of uh, March in the year 2022 where we achieved an improvement in the mean score from 3.46 to 4.09 we managed to take uh, 10 students to the university uh, earlier on the exams we did when I had just come to this school we were not able to take any student but so we were actually able to improve uh, a great deal by being able to take 10 students to the university and uh, quite a number of students who had C plane also qualified to go to middle level colleges. That is a big stride for this school. The school has outshined other sports giant in Sabata Sub County leg ball, athletics, music, among other games. We do participate in co curricular activities uh, like the, this time we were able to take our students for leg ball competitions at uh, the zonals level up to the sub-county level, as well as uh, soccer. We don't have a, a specific playground for the school. It's not existing. So we share with the primary school, and you'll find that most of the time uh, the primary school uh, pupils are using their field, and so we get incapacitated a bit. That with time, we should be able to create a field of our own and be able uh, do our level best to see that our learners are also involved fully in co-curricular activities. With the help of the passionate teaching staff, the school has promised to upgrade its performance in the coming national exams. We are praying that uh, this year, the current candidates, whom in my opinion are very focused, they have been quite encouraging, they have done well in their mock exams, they are always in school, I'm quite focused, I'm hoping that they will continue in the same spirit to ensure that the mean score for, the, for this year actually improves from uh, compared to what we scored in our last KCC exams. So we've continued to work hard to try and see how we can improve on academic uh, programs for the school. Among some of the things we do, we normally invite uh, guest speakers to come and talk to our candidates to kind of motivate them so that they are able uh, to work hard, they are able to get focused and uh, finally achieve the quality grades. Over and above invitation of uh, guest speakers, we also uh, do partner with the neighboring schools and do, uh, in, in, I should say, some kind of uh, uh, 
coordinated exams with neighboring schools, which we are able to mark. Improve on any gaps that are discovered. Mr. Amala has appreciated the BOM members for the support given to school. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to also thank uh, colleagues and partners whom we work with, uh, most importantly the Board of Management. Uh, it has been uh, quite instrumental in ensuring that the school programs are running as set out early every year. Uh, we normally have board meetings at least three times in a year. Among us, the challenges that we also face here, uh, majorly, is uh, water. We do not have a reliable source of water uh, for use in school. So we majorly rely on rain, on rainfall. Uh, during the rainy season, we have quite a number of water tanks, and we harvest uh, rainwater to be able to sustain ourselves in terms of uh, water supply. But during the drought season, we have a big challenge. We are not able to get water, and so at times we are forced to use our learners to get to fetch water uh, from an, an, a neighboring stream. And therefore, if we are we, we are really are praying and hoping that with the time we should be able to get uh, a reliable source of water. We tried uh, the issue of uh, digging a borehole, but uh, drilling a borehole proved very expensive. Because the BQ that we were given for the borehole amounted to over 3 million shillings. For Prime News Education Segment, I'm Philip Simeon.